Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a cleaning video. This is my second official clean with me as I clean around my kitchen and bathroom. My first clean with me is linked above and in the description box. And I have a couple of organized with me videos in the description box also. Today's video is part of a spring cleaning challenge hosted by Christy at Inspired Living with Christy and Sherry at Pretty Simple Sherry. Their channels are linked below as well as a link to the playlist. So Christy and Sherry asked that we share some cleaning tips or hacks and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to continue my series and share five germaphobe cleaning tips. Tip number one is to add bleach to your dishwater for an extra squeaky clean. A half a cap for a sink full of water is all you need. If you hand wash dishes, this works great, especially if the dishes have sat for a while. And I especially like to do this in the summertime when the dishes have been sitting in a hot kitchen and no one's gotten to them. I'm sure that all the germs are gone once I use a little bit of bleach in the water. So here I'm just washing all the plates and most of the bowls and I'm soaking the utensils which are my least favorite thing to wash. So I'm going to add those to the dishwasher later. And I'm doing a nice thorough rinse of all the plates and things that I'm washing here to ensure that all the bleach is gone. When I'm the one doing the dishes, I tend to alternate between hand washing or using the dishwasher. Uh, depends on um, what I'm in the mood to do. Particularly for this video, and I told everybody just leave those dishes for me because I'm doing a video. So they left them all. They did not mind. So now I'm just adding all the cups and leftover bowls to the sink to let them sit for a little while and I'm going to start putting them in the dishwasher. I'm just rinsing them off and placing those in. And then I'm using this Cascade dishwashing liquid. And then cleaning off these two remaining skillets in the sink. The utensils are still in the bottom of the sink there. And once I complete this rinse, I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the dishwasher. I like to use a nice disinfecting spray to clean out the sink once I'm done and then all the little accessories in the sink as well. So I'm just doing that now. So I'm just finishing off drying the dishes that were in the drainer and putting those away. And then I'm sharing this tumbler that I got from a recent order of Teamy Tea. For the few days that I drink the tea, I notice increased energy and a suppressed appetite. So if you're trying to lose weight, that's perfect. If you want to learn more about Tea Me Tea, you can check the link in the description box. And if you order anything, you can use my discount code, which is also below, and you can save 15%. And then it has this compartment on the bottom where you can keep vitamins or medications or any extra tea or any other small items that you want to carry with you. And then this is the strainer that when you make the tea, this holds the tea leaves in place while you sip, and it's also perfect if you wanna have fruit infused water. And this is how it looks, and this is the cap. It just flips up so you can drink from it. It protects the little mouthpiece, and then it just goes on top just like this, and it has a nice little handle, and that's it. So I'll put that away for now and go on to cleaning off the countertops. 
I usually use a cleaning spray that disinfects and sanitizes, so I'm doing a quick wipe down of everything. getting the fridge to all the handles and then I'm just going to spray down the island and wipe that off as well and now I'm doing a quick sweep and if needed I'll use my shark steamer with some sort of cleanser added so I'm just getting up that um, little pile and anything that I might have missed. And here's my shark steamer. I'm using pine saw this time as my attic cleaner and then I'm just putting in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and steam the floors. This thing heats up really good and you might be able to see the smoke here, but I love that because it seems like it's really doing something. I just press my foot down in certain areas when I wanna really scrub a little spot So the kitchen is all set. And now we'll be moving on to the bathroom. And the next four tips, which tip number two is use disposable rags and rubber gloves. I either use the wipes or um, paper towel and spray. Tip three is to clean light switches and doorknobs. Sometimes this gets overlooked, but these definitely need a good wipe down from time to time. Tip four is to clean soap dispensers, particularly the pump where people's hand touches and the air fresheners especially because you never know if people spray before or after they wash their hands. I'm not showing a thorough cleaning of the bathroom in this video, I'm just sharing the highlights. I do clean the entire toilet inside and out and I also take care of the shower and tub but I left that out just to keep the video from being too long. And the great thing about disposable cloths and rubber gloves is that when you're done wiping all that nasty stuff, you can contain it all right here and then toss it. Tip number five is to use these disposable Swiffer wet wipes for your bathroom floor. I love disposable things for bathroom cleaning. And then when the moisture dries out, you can re-soak them um, I just add a little bit of water to the tub with a cleanser and re-wet the wipe and then continue using it. And this prevents going through so many wipes because they dry out pretty fast. And adding the cleanser gives me peace of mind knowing that I'm actually killing germs. And then you can just go ahead and throw those away and not have gross cloths and mops lying around. So that's the bathroom all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you need some more cleaning motivation, please be sure to check the playlist below and check out um, Sherry and Christy's channels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.